Hey guys, what's going on? Hot Sauce Junkie Tim and a Fino Pepper. Tonight's show, got a special guest, another first timer. The wife. She wants to go by the wife, so that'll be her name to the channel, <laughs> just the wife. So um, tonight we're not going to be reviewing any peppers, we're not going to be reviewing any sauces, and we're most definitely not going to be reviewing any peanuts as in a tube of terror. We're never doing that ever again. Tonight's review is going to be on a beverage. The kids went to bed. It's uh, infused spirits mango habanero vodka. Now, in no way, shape, or form, I promote any alcohol abuse or alcohol in general. Um, we sell us at the store and. Um, my wife knows my liking of, of peppers in the channel. She thought this would be a good thing to review on the channel. So, kids went to bed. The stress of the days are over. So, I figured why not have a late night beverage. So, um, look at this company on, online here. Um, it's a 2018 San Francisco Spirits Competition Award winner, uh, silver medal award winner, that is, and also 2018 Platinum Package Design winner which is pretty cool. Um, so look at the bottle here. You, you can see you can see the uh, habanero just hanging around, hanging around up there. And here's your slices of mango. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. My wife, on the other hand, I don't think she's too excited. She's not a hot sauce junkie. That's why she wants to be called the wife. Mild. It's good for you. So, I'm gonna pop this open here. <laughs> smell, smell mango, vodka. I don't smell any pepper at all. So I'm gonna wipe, give a, give a smell, smell here. Hmm. Smells pretty good, actually. Yeah, I smell a lot of mango. Not, not too much pepper at all. But we'll see when we. Have yeah, a shot of it. So I'll have the wife get the shot, the shot set up. While she's doing that, let's give a little history on the company. Uh, I looked online, it looked like it started out in 2012. A young and creative founder, Seth ben, Benham, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, made up his mind about what he loved. He had decided the world was in desperate need of an authentic spirit one that offered a natural and simple process that anyone could understand. After experiencing the magic of a truly handmade infused spirit while on vacation, he realized this was nowhere to be found, so naturally he had to be the one to create it. Uh, and he did. One year and a few hundred samples later, Seth launched Infused Spirits. Just three months after launching, uh, Seth, then 25 years old, was the youngest brand owner to win the Best in Show and Double, glow, double Gold at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Uh, there is a great passion in Infused Spirits. Our team works tirelessly to ensure every bottle of infused spirits is balanced, smooth, and bursting with character and flavor. If you haven't tasted our vodka yet, we hope you do soon. So, we'll give it a I shot do here. smell a lot of mango. Yeah, a lot of mango and a lot of, a lot of the vodka. And not too much of the pepper. But we'll hmm. see. We'll see what the taste buds tell us. <sighs> I just hear habanero and I'm gonna, I want to cry. She's scared of habaneros. All right, All right. cheers. Hello. Hot sauce, chunky Tim, and a fear no pepper. <coughs> Ooh. Mango, for sure. I'm pretty spicy back here. <clears throat> so the wife <coughs> tastes the mango. Just taste the habanero. I have to agree 100%. I taste the same. Um, really didn't know what to expect with a pepper infused vodka. Smooth um, but spicy back here. For me, smooth <clears throat> and delicious. For me, this is something you could actually just pour in the rocks and have a, have a sipping cocktail. Um, I don't feel any burning sensation at all, but um, my tolerance level is slightly higher than the wife, just by that little bit. Maybe by that much. Um, it's good, it's, it's, uh, it's great. It's absolutely great. Um, 
I mean, the heat scale for me, I, I mean, I'm going to give it a zero, but I mean, don't be offended by the low score because it's not about the, the heat, um, it's about the flavor. It and is good. This is great. You know, if you have vodka just by itself on the rocks, for me, it's disgusting. It's like drinking it, rubbing alcohol. This has a great flavor to it. I have another sip. It is really good. Just it's kind of spicy back here for me. So if you're one that's not tolerable when it comes to heat, I mean, you, you may feel a little kick in the back of your throat. But for me, as long as it's not burning, it's a home run, man. I like it a lot. Um, let's see what the guys here. Alani here says it's a hot, and sweet, medium body. It's got a hint of papaya and mango, and various pepper jelly notes. It's it's really it's really good. I can understand why it's an award-winning vodka. <clears throat> So, any of you interested in checking this out? Um, like I said, we just found this at the store um, in the next town over, and she knows my liking of, of peppers, and I love habaneros. She, she got it for me, and I uh, highly, 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 highly suggest you guys like peppers, and I know most of you people do. This is a great, great beverage. It is really good. Very smooth. A little spicy. Too yeah. spicy for me. A little too spicy for, not for hot sauce, chunky Tim, because I fear no pepper. So, um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, um, hit that subscribe square button right down there. Um, try to build the channel up. We're, I think we're about 212 right now, within about a month, and that's absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you so much for giving me that, that point. Um, my next goal is to hit 250. Um, so I gotta do that. Doing the toe of Satan at 250. Toe of Satan times two. Uh, or else, hit the bubble up there, hot sauce chunky Tim, right above the head of the wife. Um, like, share, drop me a comment, ask me a question. Um, I'll put a link to the company at the bottom of the, uh, the video here. Um, again, thanks for hanging out. I'm hot sauce chunky Tim with the wife. Oh, yeah. And the fear no pepper.